Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru where we're going to be continuing on with our informational tutorial series where we're going to be talking about get all actors and casting. Now they're two very different things but I thought we'd just combine them into one episode and we'll start with the cast two. So you can cast to almost any blueprint in the world. Um, the most notable one that everyone should be using is the third person character. Uh, it, what it does is it allows access to everything in the BP, uh, for example, like variables that lie within that blueprint without you having to mess around too much um, writing code within the third person character to do these things. Um, and of course, um, what we could do here is if I get uh, event begin, begin play, um, we can kind of perform a um, a cast to something every time this blueprint is called. Um, you'd use it in lots of different scenarios. I use it all the time, uh, especially on event begin plays or event ticks. You can do it in lots of different scenarios. Uh, the one thing I think that always confuses people is this object pin. So the object pin refers to the BP type. So for example, with the character, you're looking for um, the player character reference. It's what it, um, it kind of derives from. So in this example, if I get the player character, I can do that. And that will now work. There are lots of gets you can use. Um, and you will learn these over time. You've got player porn. You should have uh, actor. Get parent actor, get owner. That's the owner of the actor. You've got get component of by class. You, there's loads of them. Uh, instigator, game stage, game modes, game instances. I'm sure there's probably player saves, player state. You've got streaming level, camera manager. There's so many gets that you can call. Get level, you know, uh, get the controller. We've got all sorts of things you can call. Um, and it all derives from the blueprint type. And when I say blueprint type, I mean this here you've got um blueprint class you've got game it's the parent class is an actor so you'll be looking probably to get the object now some things are great for casts um as i say mainly like player characters ai those are great for using a cast for when i'm calling an object like uh let's say i want uh, to get all the doors in a scene you're probably better off using a get all actors of class using the same kind of idea as the cast we can get all of the actors of a specific character let's say for example an ai we let's go back with the example of zombies we could get all the actor classes of our zombie um you could use the master so that will get all the children as well and you can do a get get a copy and then from that you can get the um specific one you want or you can do a random get random item from the array or maybe you want to get the length of that and find out how many there are you know there's there's lots of different things you can then do um you could also even do a for each loop and plug in your array and loop through every single um instance of that class in the world so if, again if you had 50 zombies you could run it 50 times and then destroy the actor so again this works better for a wave game but you could go through every instance of that from the get all actors of class and then destroy each one of them and that will destroy all 50 of them it'll happen very quick it'll probably happen one at a time if you want to slow that down you maybe want to do like a delay so that they do destroy one at a time um or you can have it all happen instantly and just, just plug it straight in. Um, but yeah, there's there's a few examples of what you would use with that get actors of class. Uh, this also for each loop is perfect for finding information. So if I do my master for a second, my master creature, where is it? There it is. I can actually get creature, no, break maybe, no. Where's the information? Let's put in get. 
let's see what variables we've actually got in this thing. So we've got, oh, nothing. Okay. I might not have anything in there. That's fine. That's okay. Because I've changed things up. But basically you can get information from this as well. Um, in order to um, use that information to sort of narrow your search down. I haven't got any information in this blueprint anymore. Um, so I can't actually call it. But you can do it with lots of other um, scenarios in which you come from this get. And you, you can basically search what information you are trying to get hold of. Now... If you want to narrow your search down in a little bit of a better way, let's say you're looking for a specific chest um, for a certain action. Let's say you're doing an event in the world and you need to interact with a specific chest in order for something to happen. Now, we can give it a name tag and search for that name tag. Let's say it's just chest number five. We want chest five. So what we can do is if we go back into my overworld if i grab any object it should it should have it for all of them let's say this these three things were chests i can give this a tag here we go just add a tag and we'll call it chest five and then when we run this code it'll look through every single chest until it comes with the tag that matches that tag we've just given the chest chest five and then from here, we can do a get. And it will only return me anything that has chest 5. So if there's only one object in the world that has that tag chest 5, this array, this get, will only ever have one item in it. So whatever we get, it will always sit at integer 0. Now, if you had 5 or 6 items with chest 5, you could then do a for each loop and narrow your search down further from there. There's lots of different things you can do, or again, you can get a random, or you can get the last into, you know. There's so many different objects, options where, through the array system, so we obviously showed that in previous tutorials, that um, you could then use arrays, um, or at least the sub-nodes of arrays, to find the information you're looking for, or that object you're looking for. Hopefully this has been useful. Um, to you, I know someone asked me to cover get all the, the get all actors node, but it is genuinely just for getting every instance of that object in the world. It's then what you do with it afterwards. Um, the get all well, basically we'll just find every instance of the object and output the list as an array. So just remember that it is putting out that array. Um, and then the cast, you are using that to talk to a specific blueprint. Uh, as I said, most famously, it's used for your your sort of characters, so you can get their variables. For example, from this, I can get um, I can get probably Ringmon, maybe Ringmon, Ringmon party, current Ringmon. You know, you can pull these variables through. You can even set them. Uh, set oh gosh set ring mon set current ring mon um, so you you know you can do all sorts of things but these 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 variables that come out of this third person character they will get reset within this third person character blueprint so these aren't set on this blueprint they're actually being set within its own blueprint you're just doing it in this variables blueprint you're just you're just moving where that happens to a new location um, hopefully this was helpful. I really do hope it was helpful. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments. If you have any other information you'd like me to cover, also put that in the comments. Leave a little like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do, and you can always change your mind down the line. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for the support so far. Um, and I'll see you soon. Much love. Take care. Bye.